Thank you very much. I, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, uh, I want to say, first of all, I'm a big fan of Baltimore, so I'm glad you got to see that. I, uh, we're going to hear from a former mayor of Baltimore in just a moment, Governor O'Malley. And uh, when I ran for president, Stephanie, the current mayor, was just a little girl, and her father you're probably surprised she was born, but anyway. <laughs> Her father was a lion of the Maryland House of Delegates and probably the, one of the 10 most knowledgeable state legislators in the entire country about education reform. So for me to see her doing that was a personal pleasure. I also went there recently to visit Kevin Plank and Under Armour, which now occupies massive two massive sites at Baltimore Harbor, and is a great story of the kinds of opportunities we're trying to create. I want to begin by calling to the stage the three people I think are most responsible for the wonderful experience that I think we've all had here in Denver. And I am profoundly grateful to them, so I would like to invite to the stage uh, the team that my daughter on our day of service nicknamed the two Steves, Steve Bahar and Steve Farber, and Mayor Michael Hancock. I'd like to ask them to come up and ask the mayor to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. President. And I want to thank each and every one of you for attending the fourth annual Clinton Global Initiative America meeting. I also want to thank the two Steves who stand behind me, Steve Farber and Steve Bahar, for their tremendous leadership and support in making this event possible here in the Mile High City. From how we can better engage disconnected youth to how we can better deliver critical infrastructure to our communities, the breadth and depth of the conversations in just two days have been absolutely inspiring. Yeah. But we all have seen that CGI is much more than rhetoric, and thank God for that. Meaningful change occurs when we translate into ideas, ideas into action, and the commitments made here at CGI are poised to be truly transformational. We are in an age when we must find new, innovative ways to provide critical programs and essential services to keep this country moving forward. It is clear that we must move beyond merely infusing capital into projects. To keep this country on the path to prosperity, it will take creativity, ingenuity, it will take political will and collaboration. It will take investment and engagement. And it will take all of us. We saw that work through the actions of the Clinton family this week. I want to thank first Dr. Chelsea Clinton for committing her time, care, and compassion to our youngest Colorado residents on Sunday by supporting one of my favorite organizations, Concert for Kids. I want to thank Secretary Clinton for the all-inspiring work to deliver very real investments to our youngest people. You and Dr. Clinton's work uh, with the nonprofit and private sectors to bridge the word gap and effectively eliminate the achievement gap will be foundational for how cities provide early childhood education. And I also want to thank President Clinton who was elected when I was just seven years old. <laughs> but who has become my good friend since coming to Denver. And for taking time to learn about, about how Denver is best serving our most vulnerable 
at the Colorado Coalition for the Homeless. Mr. President, through your vision and leadership on the new Marcus Tech Credit, cities like Denver have been able to serve the often overlooked and underserved populations in our community. But your follow-up and attention now 14 years after the creation of the program illustrates how it is more than investment of capital that will make a lasting impact on our society. This week, Denver was proud to join in making a commitment to action to support our most vulnerable here at the Clinton Global Initiative. We will engage in one of the first city-led social impact bonds, which will provide supportive housing to more than 300 chronically homeless in our community. We believe treatment and a safe place to call home will stop the seemingly perpetual cycle of going from streets to emergency rooms, to jails, to back in the streets, costing the taxpayers some $11 million. In partnership with the Corporation for Supportive Housing, Enterprise, Community Partners, and Social Impact Solutions, we can provide individuals with the lives and treatment they need while also reducing the cost to taxpayers and putting that money toward long-term solutions. I have only scratched the surface of the commitments to actions taken in two short days. But what has been accomplished is poised to have a sincere impact on our communities. So thank you to one of America's great families, the Clinton family, for joining us here in Denver, Colorado. I also want to thank the CGI team for putting on an eventful conference. You did an awesome job, don't you all agree? And to all of you, those who have committed to make our future brighter and for being here, we are grateful as well. We hope to see you next year, round two in the Mile High City. God bless you all and safe travel.